We are honored to participate in this annual celebration. Youth Inc. makes such a difference in the lives of over 200,000 young people in New York City each year by investing in more than 75 grassroots nonprofits. Frederick Douglass once said, it is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. Youth Inc.'s powerful network is building strong children. Youth Inc.'s nonprofit partners work in some of the most under-resourced communities in New York City and provide support for young people every day to arm the next generation of New Yorkers with the skills, confidence, and resilience required to face life's challenges. Last year, I was honored and humbled to receive the John C. Whitehead Leadership Award because John was a remarkable leader and visionary, as well as being a friend. John was a superb success in business, as all of us know, but more importantly, he was singly focused on giving back to his community and fostering opportunities for all. John was truly ahead of his time. He didn't use the phrase ESG, which has become the modern norm, but John certainly recognized that being a leader in business is about more than quarterly earnings. It is about people and how you treat them, and it is about giving to others. John treated everyone with dignity and respect. And so does Adina Friedman. I've known Adina for nearly 20 years, and I've worked with her in a number of capacities. At one point, I was Adina's regulator. Adina represented NASDAQ early in her career in meetings at the SEC on some complex and even contentious issues. It was clear why these matters were entrusted to Adina and why she was the face of the organization with the regulators. She was wicked smart for sure, but she was also highly ethical, honest, and always respectful. Now I came to know Adina through Annette and I've watched Adina's rise ultimately becoming the leader of NASDAQ. Adina is indeed a great leader. She combines technical expertise with considerable management skills and people talents. Importantly, Adina embodies many of the same values that we all admired so much in John Whitehead. Adina has empathy for others and looks for opportunities to give back to her community. Shirley Chisholm famously said, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. With visionaries like you, Adina, changing the board dynamic, a folding chair may no longer be necessary. Under your leadership, NASDAQ adopted a new listing rule that requires companies to report on the diversity of their boards. This will undoubtedly bring sunlight to this important area. And we can expect over time that shareholders will demand greater diversity and inclusion on corporate boards. Adina, we are so proud of you, and Annette and I are honored to call you a friend. We are thrilled for all that you've accomplished thus far in your amazing career and excited for what you're gonna do next. It is our privilege to present you, Adina Friedman, with the John C. Whitehead Leadership Award for your unyielding commitment to advocating for diversity and supporting those who don't yet have a seat at the table. We wish you the very best and continued success in all of your endeavors. Congratulations. Congratulations.